What happens when you build up anticipation for a movie for two years? Only one thing, disappointment. My name is Steven, and we're talking flicks. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Talking Flicks. Now, before everyone starts having a, a, a conniption because of what I just said previously, let me take a quick second to say next week on the new episode of the announcers table, we're going to be picking the winner for the Amazon gift card, $25 to one lucky subscriber. If you want to have your chance to win, just subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think about our videos. Today, I'm covering Star Wars, and it's one of the most anticipated films I mean, since even before the first one came, before episode seven came out, episode eight was already anticipated as well. Now, the reason I say that it's disappointing is not because it was by any means a bad movie. It's because in those two years that this film ha has been anticipated, film theories have just been coming out left and right. Now, I'm not going to say which film theories were wrong, which film theories were right, because I'm trying to keep this spoiler free. Let me put it to this way. The majority of them are wrong and I mean I think that was kind of anticipated there are certain ones that I personally didn't want not want to happen there are other ones I was kind of disappointed that I missed out on uh, let's start off with the acting uh, acting I think that no matter what you're always gonna get something great out of the cast uh, it's it's usually great writing that that takes place during these movies so we can easily move on from that and say yes the acting was good these these actors are experienced they already did one movie prior um, as far as cinematography goes, same thing. Cinematography, it, it, it's excellent. It's, it's Star Wars, and, and not to mention how great the soundtrack is. The soundtrack just blows you away constantly. The the, the, the beautiful orchestral arrangements that they do in, the, in these movies just leaves you wanting more. And you could just sit there and go to an actual concert and listen to all this, and this orchestra music and just fall in love with the music by itself. Now, let's move on to the, the, the major points, which is plot. Now, as far as the plot goes, there in every single trilogy, there has been a, essentially a pattern. The same exact thing happening over and over again to a certain extent. Now, usually in the second one, uh, you have a, like, a redemption situation. Someone is supposed to grow as a character. Someone is supposed to, you know either go dark or light and you just see the clash you know you see that battle within the within the person himself in order to push that story forward now like i said i'm not going to spoil anything but did that that mirroring continued throughout the movie but they did a better job this time around in episode eight in comparison to episode seven the main complaint in episode seven was it was too much like the original trilogy and i can tell you this that the it did move the story along a lot further. Every single character was able to grow. Every single character was able to push forward. Um, you know, and, and, and like I said, it has to do with these theories that everyone was so stuck on. The storyline was excellent. And as far as how it made you feel as you're watching this movie, you were on a roller coaster ride. Um, there was, you know, sad. There was excitement. Um, it... it for a two two and a half hour movie, it sure it sure didn't feel like it, you know, because it easily went from one point to the next, and and, and it did great points of transition. You, know? you didn't lose focus of what was going on. They were able to push everyone's story to finally connect them in a cohesive way that, you know, it just okay. What's happening next? What's happening next? You know, I'm going from one point to the other, one point to the other, and it just you felt like no time went by. And the movie actually could have ended at any given point and you would actually have been left satisfied. But as soon as you thought that, okay, well, I'm satisfied to where it is right now, it gave you more. You had ups and no lows. There was no lows in this movie. It was, you had your high, you went back to the story, it brought you back up again. And this was, this was the, 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 there was no valleys. There was no low points in this movie that I can honestly just... Even if I tried to nitpick and say what was going on here, I, I can't. So to keep it short and simple, the movie overall was absolutely amazing. 
um, it is it, it was worth the wait. It was worth the anticipation. And I think that the only people who are going to be disappointed with this movie are film theorists who who just were stuck on certain ideas that need to happen. Um, actually, now that I realize, there's one thing maybe I can nitpick on Supreme Commander Snoke and who he is and who he's supposed to be. Um, I think that's the only thing that left me wanting a little more. Uh, who knows? It might be covered in the next movie. But I guess we'll see in two years. So, guys, um, I appreciate you watching this video. And as, if, if you just watch this first before going to see the movie, I say definitely worth the, the to, to run out and catch this movie as quickly as possible so that, that way nothing is spoiled for you. And you know what? There's a reason that they added all these extra, you know, uh, viewings because it, it was so worth running out and seeing on the first day. And, and even if you don't catch it on the first day, catch it on the first uh, within the first week because I guarantee you someone's going to spoil it for you. And so, you know what, guys? Thank you again for watching another video of Talking Flicks. I know we've been out for a while, but there really hasn't been too much movies to, to review. But in the next coming weeks, you have a couple more things that are lined up. Um, please, you know, go check out uh, the announcers table for, for our wrestling fans. Go check out Nerds of the Round, which is uh, just an overall talk, uh, talk of different topics, uh, roundtable discussion of anything geek related. Um, and just keep an eye out. We have two new programs that are going to be coming to the channel. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. We appreciate the support. And yet again, if you like the video, uh, like it, comment below, tell us, uh, tell us what you think about, tell us what you thought about the movie, um, tell us what you thought of our video, tell us what you think about our channel overall, what can we do to improve, and subscribe as well for your chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that, like I said, we'll be giving away on next week's episode of the announcer table. Until the next episode, guys. Thank you.